Hi guys, this is Charles and I'm one of the surgeons at Southpaws. Uh, today I just did a salivary gland extirpation in a dog for salivary mucosal, and unfortunately I wasn't able to live stream that surgery, but I will review the procedure as we did it. So if we look here, we have the salivary gland sitting here, which is the um, monostomatic portion of the um, uh, mandibular salivary gland, and then we've got the polystomatic portion here, and then the digastricus muscle is kind of sitting here like this underneath the jaw. And so the, salivary, the polystomatic portion travels over the digastricus muscle and then comes out medially here along the, um, polyst or the um, uh, sublingual salivary gland here. And then the lingual nerve is traveling across here. The hypoglossal nerve is right here. And so this is the ramus of the mandible right here. The ear is going to be in this location here. The maxillary and linguofacial branches of the jugular vein are here and here. And so we make an incision over this region right here and identify the mandibular salivary gland and then dissect down on it, being careful to avoid the maxillary and linguofacial branches of the jugular vein. And then you identify the digastricus muscle, which is sitting here. And then we're going to reach underneath the digastricus muscle with a right angle forcep and grasp that salivary duct right here and then amputate the salivary gland right here and cut that off and, and we chuck that in the bin. And then you're gonna pull the um, salivary duct along with the polystomatic salivary gland underneath the, the digastricus muscle and then you're going to have it over here immediately like this, grabbed in the, in the jaws of the uh, right angle forceps here. And then you're just going to dissect down on either, like all the way around circumferentially, all the way down until you get to the point that the lingual nerve is kind of crossing the salivary gland right here. And we're going to put a ligature around that and amputate this portion here and chuck that in the bin. And that's pretty much it. You don't need to amputate or you don't need to excise the uh, lining of the salivary gland because it's not a true cyst. Once you remove that salivary uh, gland material, the production of saliva is going to stop. We do suction out all the residual saliva. So anyway, um, that's uh, really interesting anatomy. I really love these cases. We do have some of them that are on our YouTube channel already. So if you have any questions, please let us know and we will talk to you again soon.